Dr. Jones, 198111, here again. Some things I skipped over real fast on my first video. Wanted to do it again. I'm just going into some more detail. Uh, I know everybody's like done videos on these before, but I just want to do it. Something to do. Dinking around. See, so, yeah, I interfused stock for the SKS made by Tapco. It's got the six position. Uh, what do they call it M4, I guess. Stock on it. I got the rubber butt pad. This case doesn't have much recoil with the 39, 7.62x39 shell, but whatever. It's a half inch thicker. Get a little uh, longer in length on the butt stock. See what happens. Got the uh, UTG SKS receiver cover mount. This one has the uh, screws to tighten it down. I guess it's supposed to be a little better on not coming loose. And that's where the buffer goes that I showed in the other video down in the end. I uh, figured out a dime fits in there because I heard that they still hit. So a dime fits down in the end of it. I figure I'll sand it down, get the thickness I want so it just, you know, doesn't hit but isn't too long. So everything works out right. We're going to probably put the scope in that. Probably won't put it on the front. On that plastic. Everybody seems to like it. You know, I don't know. Got that pistol scope. Maybe put it up there. Got a reflex sight. Uh, I'm going to order two. Not for this gun, but for another uh, project I'm going to do. And uh, Stock's got the pistol grip. Pretty sweet. Storage is kind of, eh, whatever. Not really going to put anything in it, but it's got a little storage deal on the bottom. Has the lower rail. <clears throat> Probably uh, put my bipod on that I have every now and then. See what happens. Vertical grip for sure. Flashlight, I bet. Probably put some uh, Picatinny's on the uh, side there for flashlight and uh, laser on the other side maybe I don't know this kind of it's gonna have a Yugo SKS in it so it's got a pretty long barrel on there so I don't know it's not real uh it's not like a 16 inch uh, AR-15 or anything like that but I'm gonna work out it'll be pretty cool and then I think I'm gonna get the uh, they make a little plug that goes in the end for a loop for a single point sling that would shorten the gun up, <clears throat> excuse me, quite a bit, but be something to, to play with and try out. And then I got the mag. Gonna get a couple more. Pretty cheap, they're like 17 bucks online. Kinda cool. Everybody's talking about cutting these off and making it an AK style with a little tang up here, and I don't know. So they fit in your, uh, your your bag or in your gun case and I don't know see what happens I don't really have a case for it yet probably just get a hard sided one and I can throw like four or five of these in with that and that's what I did with my Mosin got a hard sided case for it and anyways way better than the uh, <clears throat> standard 10 round makes it look cool it's longer sticks out more whatever you know I don't know it'd be cool so there it is there's another video just for the heck of it, Tapco Interfuse SKS stock, 6 position butt, pad, scope mount, mag, should be good. I know these videos are just whatever right now, but we'll do some editing and play with some things later, but getting a couple on there just for everybody to check it out. Talk to you later, guys.